from the previous video we know that a directive is a typescript class it should be defined within a module and the directive should have a selector for implementing two way data binding we are going to use the directive called ng model this directive is available in forms module this module and directive is part of the built in angular library the selector of this directive is ng model notice the selector name has the first character of the class name in lower case let us now go to visual studio code i have already opened app.module.ts we know that app module is the root module of our angular application when we earlier learned about angular architecture we came to know that imports section of ng module decorator helps to refer other modules we are already using browser module and app routing module but we don't have forms module without including forms module we cannot use the ng model directive i'm going to include the forms module now after app routing module i am ending the line with a comma and in the next line i am typing forms we can see the visual studio code intellisense suggestion showing the forms module as the first item from the at angular slash forms folder to select this i am pressing enter key which includes the forms module within the import also notice in the top the import for forms module has been automatically included by visual studio code the inclusion of forms module ensures that we can use the ng model directive in any component of the angular application i am saving this file in the next video we will include ng model directive in app.component.html to demonstrate two way data binding include forms module in the imports section of your app.module.ts before moving to the next video